What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, your 5-5 five and five UAB Blazers are on the road again, taking on the North Texas Mean Green, who are also 5-5. Five and five. So both of, our, both of us are looking to clinch our bowl berth. But as the bowl projections you will find out to see later, that we are not even in a bowl projected uh, projection. Like, we're not even projected to go to a bowl. So even if we do win six games, we not we may not even go to a bowl, which kind of sucks because, you know, we've had our ups and downs. Yeah, we haven't beaten a good team. Yeah, well, we actually, we've, we've beaten a couple good teams. Uh, Western Kentucky is pretty good up there. We beat them pretty handily. And... Uh, we, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where Iowa State's at, but they're usually never that good anyway. But we did, we did beat uh, usually what they considered a higher uh, ranked opponent, kind of in a, in those little the depths of the NCAA rankings. Uh, but anyway, if you guys are hyped for today's episode, uh, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you are new to my channel, why don't you not why not subscribe? Because there's gonna be videos just about daily now, um, and uh, you get to see stuff like this. This stuff's awesome, and I'm going to try and take UAB at least to a respectable margin, which is going to be very hard to do because, as, as you've seen already, uh, this team has a lot to work on, especially on defense. Uh, we've given up probably the most points in the NCAA this year. Uh, we're giving up well over 30 points a game, nearly 40 points a game, and but we're scoring it at will, it seems like. We're scoring about we're scoring more than our opponents are, but um, we're still five and five. So we still got to come out with these wins, these last couple of games. We have two chances to win just one game, and if we do that, we're good. We're good for the rest of the year. Uh, but we're gonna see if we can come out with at least one. Um, we're, that's our goal. Our goal is to win six games. Uh, if we can do it, I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be very hard because next week we take we take on our biggest rival, Southern Mississippi, and uh, they're never really easy. A rivalry game is never easy, and we just gotta take this one game at a time. Now uh, it just comes down to this, and if we can't pull these two wins off, I I don't or one of these two wins off, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, we have a great opportunity to finish at 500 for the first time in a long time. As you take a look at the top uh, 25 here. Uh, Michigan and Texas A&M are number one and two. Washington's number three, and uh, surprisingly, we got Nebraska up there undefeated. Uh, we'll see how that long, how long that lasts, because um, we got a couple of good teams that Michigan and uh, Nebraska are about to face in the next couple of weeks. They face Iowa in uh, those, and Iowa's always somehow pretty good in these in these dynasties. Uh, I remember doing an Iowa Hawkeyes dynasty that really. Uh, was a fun one. Uh, we ended up winning the national championship after a few seasons, and uh, it was fun. I'll, I'll say that much. It was fun. Um, but right now, we're not even projected to go to a bowl game. You see A&M versus Michigan in the uh, national championship game. But anyway, I hope you guys, of course, do enjoy this kind of content. If you are new, uh, subscribe and all that stuff, and I will see you guys in the game against the North Texas Mean Green Fighting Machine. Peace. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We've got Conference USA action just around the corner. Everybody's loose, everybody ready to hit. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. And welcome to North Texas in this brand new stadium they have. I think it's called a, a Pogi Stadium. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a nice stadium. And we're here taking on the North Texas Mean Green. Let's see how well we do today against this opponent. They are a really good opponent in our conference. They are uh, 
same record as us, 5-5, five and five, so this should be a pretty well evened up matchup. Uh, you see uh, Marquise Cunningham taking this from about the 3-yard line, and he's going to take it to about the 19 or probably even less than that. He's not really good at returning, but we're going to look for... We're looking for everything we need to get right now. We need a, we need a quarterback. We need a, uh, uh, we need a running back. We need an offensive line. We don't necessarily need the receivers because our receiving core is actually really good. Uh, we need a defense. We need a special. We need it all. I'm surprised. This is probably in most people's cases who are UAB fans above expectations to win at least five games. Uh, but who knows if I can take them even to the top 25? It might be a few seasons before that even happens. Uh, so we're going to take this one year at a time. Hopefully we can build from each year and improve. Uh, no guarantees, but right now this team just has a lot to work on. As you see on that first uh, possession, we do miss the third down opportunity, but on fourth down, we're going to hand it off to Sean Ford, and he gets the first down. You got to give it to the big fella when you get that close because, you know, that's it actually is pretty cheese. So you got to take advantage of the cheesy opportunity that you get. Um, I'm not trying to cheese the game or nothing, but, like, it is pretty realistic for a fullback to just tumble on four for a first down. But you see Dan Allen getting that handoff, taking it for about 10 yards. Third down to 17. Here's Cutler looking underneath. Oh, he gets sacked. Yep, he gets sacked. So now we're going to have to end up uh, turning the ball over to the North Texas Mean Green, who have a really good uh, running attack, uh, very strong running attacks. And, and that's one of the things that we're weak against. Uh, you see Frank Brooks is going to take this one for a scramble, and he's going to take off running, and he's going to take it off for a gain of 32. So already off to a bad start on defense. That is something that I, as soon as I gave up that run, I'm like, oh, boy, here we go again. Oh, boy. Just it's already losing my crap, man. Just losing it. So you see another handoff to Brandon Beck. He gets eight yards and a first down for the mean green fighting machine. And later on, it's third down and 12. 106 remaining in the first quarter. Pretty low scoring first quarter, obviously. Uh, not something that we're used to because we're used to seeing putting up like 21 points in a quarter. Uh, but you see Michael Green for a gain of 20 and a first down for the Mean Green. And now third down and goal for the Mean Green. And here is Brooks. Here he goes underneath. And it's caught by Roden. And Roden gets the touchdown, making it 7 0 uh, North Texas. So North Texas already has a lead. We're already falling behind in this game. That's not good. We need to do something. So off to uh, Warren. Warren gets down the field for a pickup of about 29 as he gets shoved out of bounds. And now we're in business. We got past midfield. but or We're at midfield, actually. So first and 10. Here is Cutler changing the play. And how I feel about Cutler, man, I don't know. I really don't. Like He has his moments where he can be really good, and then he has his moments where he can be really bad. He's not like Jason Johnson where he's like, I don't know, spectacular every single game. Like, Jason Johnson was spectacular. And uh, we might have a quarterback controversy coming in the next year. We do have a couple of redshirt freshmen um, that are very fully capable of playing. Um, we'll see how they develop. And we might not have Jake, uh, Justin Cutler um, start next year because I don't, I, I don't feel it with him. I really don't. He's like one of those quarterbacks. He's like, you ever played a game on, like, like, and you just like you, you think he's a good player, and he says he's a good player, but you you just don't feel it. You know, it's one of those things. I I, I can't feel Justin Cutler out. He's just in. so. I it, it might be a quarterback change next year. So I don't even know. Jason Johnson can't come back obviously because of what had happened to his abdominal tear, and he's a senior as well. So he he's definitely not coming back, which is pretty awful if you think about it I really liked him he might have carried us to a bowl game but as it stands you know um, who knows if we can even get to one now because Justin Cutler is just that inconsistent um, so Justin Cutler is scrambling for his life and he's gonna get into the end zone for the touchdown it's not gonna be 7-7 but it's not gonna last very long as you're about to see on the ensuing kickoff here is Denman and he is going to uh, you know, break a couple of tackles on his way to a touchdown on the kickoff return. So, yeah, that happened. So much for that tie ball game. Now North Texas just retakes the lead just like that. Denman just yeah, our our defense is just we can't tackle. We can't tackle. It doesn't matter if I use the hit stick or not. It's just a matter of their tackling level. It's to me, it's piss poor. 
and you can't have that in in college football. Otherwise, you're not going to win many games. You got to tackle. Like this is why you were recruited because you you could play defense. But obviously, you can't do that well on defense in college football. But hey, we do get the touchdown right back. Uh, enough about me complaining about how crappy my defense is. Uh, we got the game tied up at 14. Third down and 14. 120 left in the first half. Here's Brooks. Looks. Has a little bit of time, but he runs out of it because he decides to scramble. And he ends up paying the price. So we get the ball back. Looking to take the lead before halftime. Uh, but can we do it on a third down and 17? Here is Cutler stepping back. Has time. And this one is going to be dropped by Weiss. Uh, man, he's sure-handed, but he dropped that one. And uh, we're going to end up giving the football back here. That's 36 seconds left. First and 10 for North Texas. Here is Frank Brooks in the shotgun. He's dropping back, looking right side deep, and it's caught by White, and White down the sideline, down to the 30-yard line. So that's a pickup of 53 on the play. And now North Texas is in business. First and 10, 30 seconds left in the half. Can Brooks get this team the lead? Brooks looks, and he's going to take off running, and he's going to pick up some big chunk of yardage right here as he gets taken out by Morris. Frank Brooks pick up, up a gain of 21 on the play. And now it's first and goal, but now second and goal. Last play of the half. Brooks, end zone, touchdown, Roden. And now it's 21-14 to go into halftime. So we've kind of messed up on defense as usual once again. So now to start the second half, this is going to get even better. So here is Denman again. Again, yep, he can. No one can make it stop. No one is, you know, everybody's getting blocked. Everybody's just, get, you know, just, you know what? They don't even care. It's like they don't even try out there. You know, North Texas is just running all over the place on us. And now it's 28 to 20 or 28 14. So now on the ensuing kickoff, here's Cunningham. Can he find something? He can find a hole. And he has the speed. He's He might go the distance. He has the speed, but uh, he ran out of gas at about the 20. So, hey, I'll take that. We're in good field position. And now we have a possibility of making this a seven point game. But later on, it's third down and goal at the three. And can we punch it in the end zone? Here's Cutler, a single back formation. He's dropping back, scrambling for his life, and uh, gets it off to Ford, but it's not enough to get in the end zone. So we're going to end up settling for a field goal, obviously. So that's a, a loss of seven on a simple pass play. Uh, so Brown kicks it 28 17. Not what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. We, we still got plenty of time left in this game. So handoff to Beck, taking it left side, and he's got the room to run down the field again. The defense is just, look at Marquise Cunningham. You can't rely on this defense to make a simple tackle by themselves. It's either a big hit, otherwise it's a broken tackle. You, like, you cannot, you can't possibly rely on this defense to get a simple tackle by themselves. So off to Brandon Beck again, touchdown North Texas. It is now 35-17. On the ensuing kickoff though, Cunningham already had a good return. Can he get another one? He's got the room again. He's down the sideline. He has only one man to beat, and he's chasing him down. And he's at the 20, 15, the 10, the 5, and he's down at the 1. Down at the 1 yard line. Cunningham has finally found something here on the kickoffs. Finally, man, he's been awful all year. But anyway, first and goal, handoff Sean Ford. Touchdown UAB. It's now 35 24. Yeah, we're still down by 11. And yeah, the time's not on our side right now but I mean there's still hope that we could possibly make a comeback but with this kind of defense being played I don't see that happening honestly we might as well just drop to five and six I'm not saying like I'm giving up but I I'm just seeing the effort that this team is putting in right now and it's looking horrible so two minutes to go here in the third here is uh, their tight end in motion Roden Frank Brooks with this uh, with two running backs on the field, so he drops back, looking over the middle to his tight end road, and he has been a popular target all game long, and he gets it down to the three-yard line on a first and goal, pick up 21 on the play. So, uh, third down and goal. Here they go in the shotgun with five wide receivers. Here's Brooks, looks, and he gets it off, but it's not gonna be in the end zone on that play, so Zach Callahan is three yards short of the end zone, as they're gonna settle for a field goal right here to make it 38-24. Hey, we made a stop on defense somewhat. We bend, we bent, but we didn't break. So, I mean, if we get a touchdown here, we get it within a touchdown. Anything is possible at that point. So, Cutler dropping back, gets it off Zach Weiss. First down. the 21. That's the end of the third quarter. So, we got six minutes to get two touchdowns right back on our side. Hopefully, we can do that. Here's Cutler. 
And it's caught by Williams. He's down the field, down to the 25-yard line for a pick of a 30. So that's a good pickup, good catch by Lee Williams inside the 30-yard line. Now, that first and 10 inside the 15. Here's Cutler. Drops back. End zone. Matt Weiss. Touchdown. Matt Weiss has been probably the best tight end we've or best player we've had all year long uh, outside of Jason Johnson. Um, so I'm really liking what Weiss has done. He's breaking records for the school. And with, you know, obvious... Uh, I, I think he could be t the conference's first uh, first Conference USA tight end of the year. Uh, we'll see how that goes out, though. He's been really good. So, a second down and two here. Uh, they're going to go with a tight end in motion. Hand off the back. And guess what? Defense can't make a stop. And he's going to get this down in the 10-yard line for a pickup of 28. So, the defense is continuing to play like crap. What a surprise, right? You guys are seeing me drop, giving up 45 points a game. It's not really that fun. So Brooks underneath Lawson touchdown, uh, North Texas, and now it's pretty much gonna be out of reach. This game is falling apart for us right now. Yeah, we have three minutes to go here, but when stuff like this happens, you know it's falling apart. Justin Cutler throws a pick, and that's pretty much gonna wrap this one up. Texas, North Texas is already in good field position. And on third down and 20, this is the low point of the game. The very lowest point of the game. Brooks, on a third and 20, throws it to the end zone. And it's caught by, you know, caught by Den Man, Denman for the touchdown on a 49-yard pass. And the defense was non-existent on that play, of course. So now the final score of this game was 52-31. to 31. We dropped to 5-6. and six, And we have one more game to try and clinch a bull berth. But... It's against Southern Miss. A rival game's never easy. Any, any of our games have never, really any of our games have never really, really been easy. Uh, but anyway, um, we're just gonna try and you know go into Southern Miss. Hopefully, come out with a win, get that bowl berth, and possibly go to a bowl game. Um, I can't make any promises though. We might finish the season five and seven. <laughs> I was hoping we come out with a win today and get it over with, but no, it looks like it's not gonna happen. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy this kind of content, make sure you guys drop a like. And make sure you guys subscribe to uh, my channel for more content like this and MLB The Show and Madden 16 Miami Dolphins franchise. But until next time, my name is Snow with Vengeance, and you guys are beautiful as always. You guys have been amazing. I'm out. Peace.